Well, today is a pretty big day, and uh, I have been driving for a little while, and I uh, got the boat in tow, and today we are picking up a mud motor for the boat. Now, this is something that I've been kind of weighing the options, thinking, okay, do I want to surface drive, do I want a long tail, or do I want to just stick with the outboard and see how we go? But opportunity presented itself, and we've got a surface drive to go pick up and uh, some other stuff to show you. So stay tuned. This will be a pretty fun day and hopefully we can drop the boat in on the water and try out this mud motor today. Well, we made it back safe and sound. Here it is. This is a new, pretty much almost new, it's a 2017 Mud Buddy. It's a 23 horse, and I'm gonna take it out on the lake this afternoon. Even though it's like 100 degrees outside, we gotta get this thing on the water and try it out. But, um, I bought this from Jeff, who owns Ice Ripper. So it was a pretty cool connection to make, uh, get to meet him. I've done some promotions for him in the past with the ice rippers and using them in the videos. and um, It's a great product, really cool dude. It was cool to kind of see how all the ice rippers were made and his operation there. It's really cool. But um, yeah, everything runs great. It's only got like 10 hours on the motor and um, it's nothing super fancy, nothing super big. My outboard was a 25 horse, this is a 23, so it's a little bit of a step down. But I figured this would be like the perfect sized mud motor for this boat. Um, when I'm in the boat by myself and don't have any weight in it, and I'm running that outboard, it gets going fast. So I think this 23 is going to be plenty enough and uh, it'll be fun. So the mud motor has a neutral, which is great, and then it's got on the, on the tiller here, it's got a on switch, so the prop will turn. It's got a neutral, and then it's also got like a um, momentary. So I just press it and it spins. So like if I'm loaded in on the trailer or something, I don't need the motor going the whole time. I can just press that and get going. There's no reverse, which I think that'll be all right, but uh, I'm super stoked about it. Um, but yeah, let's get this thing on the water and see how she does. So, the maiden voyage with the Mud Buddy. It uh, took me a little while to get it figured out. I had to uh, adjust the trim, and it's a manual trim on this motor. So, I have to twist this little knob down here to get it set right. And so, it took me forever to figure out what I was doing wrong because I was do just doing wheelies the whole time, if boats had wheels. But, turns out, the uh, trim was set too high. So, I had to crank that thing down lower and now we're getting up on plane, everything's doing great. So um, it's a little bit more of a muscle intensive job than the outboard, but I'm gonna keep trying to tweak this trim to get it to where it's just at that right sweet spot and uh, it's a little easier to steer. But I think I got it dialed in pretty good. It scoots along pretty good too. Um, I'm not looking for anything super fast and uh, 43 horse, it's doing great. Um, the thing about these lakes and stuff, if you guys have noticed in some of my fishing videos, there's a lot of stumps in these lakes. So um, going slow, especially at night, is not a bad plan at all, just to kind of stay safe and not end up in a situation you don't want to be in. So, you know, all in all, 
this is going good. We're going to give it another run. We're in some pretty shallow water right now. Uh, I guess in the process of doing all this stuff, I split a wire on my fish finder, so got to fix that. I can't tell you how deep it is, but yeah, I'm stoked. It was definitely different than uh, driving an outboard. It took a lot of time to figure out the trim on this thing. I've got it set pretty good at this point and it seems to be getting up on plane and going good. Um, it does kind of fight me going left to right. So maybe I'll have to tweak the trim just a little bit more and just do some fine tuning adjustments because the trim here, you just turn this little dial and uh, that's adjusting the trim up and down on the motor. So um, what it's got there is doing good. It just, it, it just seems like it's kind of fighting me going left to right, but it's all in the learning curve. I'm not sure, it, I'm not sure if I'm entirely sold on having them surface drive on there all year round. I've still got the outboard and the outboard's great for fishing. But come duck season, I'm gonna need that thing to get in those shallow water marshes. So, I'm gonna keep the surface drive on here for now and um, keep playing around with it, see how I like it, see what works with the trolling motor and fishing setup. But uh, if need be, I could do like a two time of year switch. So come fall, we throw the surface drive on, spring we throw spring we throw the outboard on so I'm not entirely sold yet on if I'm gonna just leave that mud buddy on there but I don't know we'll get it out a few more times and really know but starts right up it's got I put half an hour on it driving it around so it's got 10 hours and 27 minutes on the motor so it's pretty fresh Everything's really clean on it. It just looks good. It's in good working order. Everything is perfect. So I want to give a huge shout out to Jeff for uh, holding on to that for me for like a week. Could have sold it to anybody else, but sold it to me. So pretty sweet. We got a uh, reverse light on here too. So I've been playing around with the wiring on this and it's not working. So I got to figure that out. It'd be kind of cool to have a reverse light. If only, if this had reverse, I would leave it on all the time. So, fishing wise, having reverse is really important. Duck hunting wise, reverse is convenient, but not necessary. So, I don't know if I'm gonna get like a push pole or a better paddle to use in this boat to kind of get it off the trailer, because that was something I struggled with, was getting this off the trailer and putting it in the water, but I don't know. I could also tie a rope to the front and uh, launch it out really hard and then have the rope to uh, hang on to and get it to go in but you know all in all for the first day having the motor it uh, seems to do good definitely a learning curve with the thing i mean it's a lot different than an outboard it drives a lot different than an outboard it drives different than a long tail so i think it'll be good if it had power trim I would be a very happy camper and reverse as well. But maybe the next mud motor will have power trim and reverse. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, drop me a like if you haven't already. Uh, go listen to the Outdoor Limits podcast. we got two podcasts coming out every single week talking all things waterfowl. So make sure to be a part of that and join the Facebook group for the podcast as well. We're doing a giveaway. So if you are part of the group by July 1st, you're going to be automatically entered in a giveaway that I'm doing which uh, it's a leather game tote, which you guys might like. So yeah, check out the Outdoor Limits Podcast Facebook group. But that's it for today. Just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of a show on uh, the, the new motor because that's going to be a big part of the channel and I'm looking forward to it. So 
Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll catch you on the next video.